these are pinto beans. They've been soaking for 24 hours in cold water. I picked out the little broken beans. I picked out anything that was shriveled. I picked out anything I didn't include if it. These were picked to supply a crop for approximately five people. I didn't count them, count them, but there's definitely over a hundred. These are great nitrogen fixers in the ground. Besides being a healthy legume, wonderful source of plant protein. Despite limited water, this watercress is doing really well out here. We planted tepary beans yesterday. Okay, these are all tepary beans. Those require no watering. Definitely tomatoes. Right here. Tomatoes, tomatoes. I've seen some arugula in there. One on the right is arugula. Pretty sure that is a tomato. We're starting to give, give off some true leaves. The oak tree that'll, in theory, become some form of food. The opuntia. They make some pretty good tacos. That is like snotty though, a little bit like okra. There should be some okra in here too somewhere. Nasturtium is edible. Highly coveted among oat cuisine. So here we're doing the three sisters, the three enacted sisters. Squash, beans, and corn. This is a passion fruit. We just got done with a huge harvest of these. They'll harvest about twice a year. So our eggplants can grow as perennials here. Yeah, winter months are probably the most productive out here in the zone 10. I'm putting whole clumps of this clay down as sort of a mulch. It retains water. Water. Most of the filter here is sand. Sand particles are so big. When we water through the ground, it doesn't even cling to anything. Sand particles are so big. Can't Dane. So if grocery stores had these cute animals being so loving, maybe I would like going to the grocery store more, but we're just not missing much, 